now come to the second part so after the first step the second step is known as finding the activation function for cnn so now first step is over it means we have already got the feature map so whenever we have got the feature map from the image and from the kernel then the next step is we have to find one activation function that we can use now what is the use of activation function while discussing ann i have already explained that activation function is used to induce non linearity now what is the meaning of non linearity and what is the usefulness of activation function so i am giving you a very simple example so we are working on cnn right and we also know that cnn only works on images so let's consider set of image of face that needs to be classified as smiling face and non smiling face so this is my data set i want to classify using cnn smiling face and non smiling face so this is my objective so what i can do so i will use cnn model and this cnn model will take raw pixel values of the image and it will use some concept or steps onto this image so that it can produce the classified output but here why we need this activation function see now at each layer of cnn a linear transformation is applied say for an example there is no non linearity i am just applying linear transformation so this transformation will basically involve multiplying the input by some weight matrix or by some filter but if i apply this concept to cnn what will happen the cnn will never learn the complex features of this images such as curvature of the smile means whenever a person is smiling the curvature of this portion will not be same for all person so if cnn wants to learn this details so if we do not use activation function only linear function if we use cnn will miss out this information and also if say there will be other image that whenever a person is smiling what is the configuration of the eyes see while smiling some eyes are open while smiling some eyes are closed so these are the detailed information so my point is if activation function is not used in the second part of the cnn what will happen it will only learn some basic feature so by using this basic linear concept it will be very difficult for a particular model to identify which faces are smiling faces and which faces are not so my point is activation function is a very important thing that a cnn must use or ann must use in order to learn non linearity means detailing of the information must be understood by this model and there will be one very very important question in general it is found that relu activation function is always used for cnn why the answer is very simple see activation function means it's a simple function it will use some mathematical logic and relu is the simplest activation function because it will be represented as max of 0, x so this relu function does what if it gets any negative value it will return this negative value as zero and if we get some positive value then only it will return the biggest among the two positive values so here please make a note that why this relu activation function is always used for cnn first one because it is simple and second one is it is computationally effective see this is the computational formula so it is a computational efficient also so in order to provide a good performance relu is enough for cnn model and if it is asked how this relu function will work so you have to write max of 0 comma x is the functional description of the relu model which means that 
it returns 0 for all negative input values and it returns the input value itself for all positive input values. So, this is the most important thing. So, this nonlinear activation function helps to introduce nonlinearity into the CNN model to learn more complex features. So, here the most important thing is nowadays we know that CNN model is very powerful because it can learn some intuitive details of the image. How it can learn this intuitive details? By using this nonlinear activation function. Each and every detailing of the image will be learned by CNN in the second step. So, that's why ReLU activation function is used for CNN. This is the second step. Now, the most important part that is the third part. So, this third layer is known as pooling layer. And you can expect many questions from this third layer. So, what is this pooling layer? See, up to this we have discussed that CNN works on colored image. And we have found that color image means we have so many frames. For RGB, we have three frames. And then we have a filter. Fine. But one thing it is clear to us that is whenever a CNN is working, it is extracting so many features from the image. And the dimension of these features are large. Now, if the dimension of the features are large, it is very difficult to work with CNN. So, the best possible way is that we can reduce the dimension of the extracted feature from the image. So, here the question is, before understanding what is pooling, first you have to understand why this layer is important. So, why pooling is important? Because pooling layer is used to reduce the dimension of the feature map. Please make a note. This is my input image. This is the kernel. And then we are getting a feature map. Now, we will induce non-linearity or CNN is learning more details about this feature map using ReLU. Now, in the third step, what we are doing, whatever set of features we are having, now we have to reduce these features. So, reducing the number of features is the ultimate goal. But not reducing the features, we are basically reducing the dimension of the features. And again, it is not the dimension of the feature. We are reducing the dimension of the feature map, which is obtained from step one. So, why we use pooling? Pooling layer is used to reduce the dimension of the feature maps. So, this is the most important thing. Now, the next question is how this pooling mechanism will work? See, we have so many mechanisms, but the most popular two mechanisms are max pooling and average pooling. Now, what is this max pooling and average pooling? Look at this. So, we know that pooling means we have to reduce the dimension of the feature map. So, this reduces the number of parameters to learn and the amount of computational performed by the network will be reduced. So, here consider this thing. So, say this is the image. And this is the first filter that I am using. So, image and we will have a filter. So, what is the size of the filter? Here I am using 2 cross 2 filter. See, this is the 2 cross 2 filter I am using. So, now after max pooling C, what is the output I have got over here? So, this is the input image and this is the filter. And we know that we have to multiply it and we will get some value. How this pooling will work? So, I cannot take this four value. So, I have to reduce this dimension. How could I reduce this dimension? Max pooling means I will take maximum among this four value. So, 2, 2, 9, 4. So, what is the maximum value here? 9. So, I am taking 9. So, instead of taking 4 values, I am taking only 1 value. Automatically, the dimension will be reduced. But see, along with filter size, I have already mentioned another term, stride. 2 cross 2 stride. So, what is the meaning of stride? See, stride means 
the number of pixel we have to shift over the input matrix means this is my kernel that i am using so after completion of this portion i have to slide this kernel in the next level so how many pixel i am striding here this is one this is two so after two pixel this is the position of my kernel since i am using two cross two stride it means that we have to shift over the filter onto the input matrix by two pixel if the stride is one means we have to shift this kernel by one pixel so here you can ask me again the same question filter size we know now how to decide the stride size it is again dependent on you since we are using two cross two filter this is the two cross two filter then after next slide this will be the starting position of the filter so it should be shifted over two pixels so stride should be definitely two cross two so here since we are talking about pulling so we have to reduce the dimension so it is very simple how pulling works so this is the kernel size and we will take maximum of this value so if i shift this kernel over here then we have 7 3 6 and 1 i will take maximum 7 so similarly i will slide this kernel a bit and i will take the maximum value and here also i will take the maximum value see the dimension is reduced so instead of learning so many pixel values i am just learning this much of value so this is the concept of max pooling but for some research people prefer to use average pooling the concept is same so instead of taking large value we will take average of all the values so whenever i am considering this area i will take average of this four then whenever we are considering this area i will take average of this four so this concept is known as pooling so what is max pooling so we can say that max pooling means it is a simple operation to select maximum element from the region of the feature map which is covered by the filter please make a note whenever you are writing something you have to be very precise max pooling this pooling operation will select maximum element from the specific region of the feature map so this is not the input image now it is a feature map because it is coming from the convolutional layer so onto the feature map we are selecting the maximum value and maximum value is selected from the element present in the region of the feature map covered by the filter again for average pooling you will write the same thing but the concept is different that average pooling computes the average of the element present in the region of the feature map covered by the filter and then we will take average of this value so this is how pooling mechanism works so basically pooling is reducing the dimension of the feature map so this is the third layer of the cnn and now we will go to the fourth step so what is this fourth step this fourth step is known as fully connected layer now what is this so after several rounds of convolution and pooling layer please remember one thing so this is our input image so cnn works on colored input image and the first step is convolution convolution means take the image multiply this image with the kernel value and create a feature map so this is the convolution then this feature map will be combined with the relu activation function why so that we could understand or read more details about the image now see here this is the image and i am taking this much part of the image so this part is extracted convolution plus relu the third step is known as pooling pooling means this is the actual size now we have to reduce the size so we have reduced the size then again we have to repeat the same step so this is now our image now we will again perform convolution means this step and then we will induce non-linearity so that we could learn more important features from this and then we will perform pooling means again it will be reduced in size 
so we have to perform several steps of convolution plus relu then pulling convolution plus relu plus pulling so we have to continue this process so this step fully connected layer states that after several rounds of convolution and pulling layers the feature maps are flattened means these are the feature maps and now these are the flattened feature maps means they are now ready to fed into the neural network so i have already stated in the initial discussion of the class convolution activity then activation function activity plus pulling activity after that in the fourth step that is in this step the functionality of the ann will be used means whatever feature we have gathered so far now all those feature will be given to the input layer and then we will have some hidden layers and all will be connected and then we will differentiate or classify the particular image means we can classify whether this image is a car truck or van or we can take the initial example if we fed into dog and cat image and we can classify whether a particular image is a dog image or cat image so remember this thing which is very important each time these three steps will be applied together and a particular step ends when the size of the feature is reduced then again we will take this input we will apply these three steps and then the size of the feature will be reduced so we will apply this continuously so that we can create flattened input flattened input means a set of features that can be used as an input to the input layer of the network so this entire mechanism is known as convolutional neural network modeling or working functionality of the cnn and after that we know we will have one output layer and we have to train this cnn again and again so in training what we will do while training the cnn will adjust the weights of the filters means we have already discussed about the filter values and each time the filter values will be adjusted and then we will use some back propagation mechanism gradient mechanism so that the neural network will learn so here my point is after this step the next step will be the output layer means the final fully connected layer will produce the output probabilities of each class cat or dog or we can say that truck or van and in the output layer generally cnn use softmax activation function which converts the raw output into probabilities because we will have to assign some probable value means if a probability of car is 0.5 means it's more likely to a car and if the probability of van is 0.2 means there is a less chance of the output of the image to be a van so basically softmax function does what it will convert the raw output into probabilities then after one iteration then we have to go back using back propagation then we have to train our network train our network means during training the cnn will adjust the weight of its filter and definitely while adjusting it will use back propagation mechanism or gradient descent mechanism we have already explained in the class it is same as artificial neural network and then in the next step it will predict something predicting something means cat or dog car or van something like this so this is the main functionality of the cnn